Well, let's keep the pigskin fine and toss it over to PSL's own John Lovelady. John? Thank you. Great toss. Bonita Vista traveled to Westview in hopes of advancing in the ultra-competitive Division II bracket. Meanwhile, the Wolverines come in just looking to sharpen their claws. With these teams having never met, we didn't know what to expect. Let's see how it played out. The Bonita Vista Barons come in with a record of three wins, six losses, and one tie. The Westview Wolverines were 7-3 and three and ready to prove there are no fluke. First quarter action, Leonard Finley takes the handoff, follows his blockers, and gets to the corner of the end zone, putting Westview up 7-0. 121 left in the second quarter. Eric Beagle finds his man Cody Williams on the sideline. He beats three defenders to put Westview up big at the half. The band was in sync, just like the football team, 33-0 at the half. In the third quarter, Eric Beagle, master of play action, looks over the middle, but finds Kalik Atal, makes a diving interception, but Benita Vista could not capitalize. Westview second string quarterback, Nick Wilson, seeing some action. He drops back, looks in the flat, but number 44, Marcus Reyes, spoils his party. He takes it back. Could it be a Benita Vista comeback? <laughs> Not to be. With 137 left in the game, Trayvon Sanders puts the finishing touches on this one with a 20 yard scamper. It was all Westview. They dominated with the shutout. I spoke with Westview's Taylor McNamara, who was chosen for the upcoming U.S. Army All-American Bowl. You know, to shut them down on defense and score points on offense, and we, we ended up doing both. So it was great, and we executed the game plan and got out of there quickly. Westview played their most complete game of the year. They jumped on Bonita Vista early and never looked back. They will face the number two seed, La Costa Canyon, this Friday night in what should be a great matchup. Back to you. Thanks, John. It looks like Friday is going to have some great matchups.